Hello and welcome to the second tutorial in the Cocos Code IDE series. In this part we're going to be looking at setting up the Code IDE on Mac. That's simply all we're going to be co covering. Subsequent tutorials will cover setting up a project so it runs on a certain platform. First of all you need to download a, a few files. So let's just go to the internet and show you what you need to download. Oh, there'll be links in the description so you don't need to make a note from the video. So the first thing is obviously Cocos Code IDE. Need to be connected to the internet, my bad. Refresh. Okay, so if you just go to download, and download Cocos Code ID, and obviously as we're on Mac, you want to download from Mac this one right here. You also want to download Cocos 2D JS, but that's only if you want to develop for JavaScript. So you want to download this one here. Version 3.0 is valid as well for Cocos Code ID, but as version 3.1 is out, I'd just recommend that. And if you want to develop for Lua, you will want Cocos 2DX. I'd just recommend a stable version, aka something like version 3.2. Exactly, you need version 3.2. So get that one if you want Lua, and get Cocos 2D JS if you want JavaScript. Again, there will be links in the description. The next thing you're gonna want is Android SDK. If you just tap into Google, go to the Android Developers website, and you just want to download the, the Eclipse ADT. ADT. Even though you won't be using Eclipse, you just want to download this, which has the SDK. The next thing you want to download is Android NDK. This, if you go to the website, you can only get the latest version, which is R10C. Well, what you want is R10D. We're going to give you another link to get it, which is Android S. Zone. Again, no need to try and remember the link. There'll be a link in the description to it. And this has R9D on it. So if you go down here, and these are actually the official links. So if I just, for example, this one, copy link address, paste it. This is actually the official Google link, but it's just no longer available via their website. We need R9D for Cocos 2DX. The next thing you're going to want is Apache Ant. And then for this, you just need to go to binary distributions, scroll down, yeah, just download one of these. Archive D dot zip is a okay, you can easily uncompress that. I've already got all these files downloaded. So let's just show you what we've done. I've got them all right here. So in the Android folder, I've got the ADT, the NDK, the Apache Ant, Cocos 2DJS, I've got version 3.1 and 3.0 as well here, and they're extracted in Cocos 2DX. I've got the version 3.2 extracted as well. You may notice that I don't actually have Cocos Code ID here, and that's because you need to install it. A little prerequisite as well. Just obviously just make sure you extract everything and put it in somewhere you designate as a permanent folder for it. I've got a development folder within an application, so from there I know I'm not going to be moving on a regular basis and that's what you want. So what we need to do is just install Cocos Code IDE. We just open it up. Drag and drop this to your applications. It's literally that easy to install. It's going to inject this now. Open up Cocos Code ID. It's just picking up the one in parallel. There we go. Yeah, that's not the one we want. want this one. Okay, so let's just open this up and actually set it up so it's all ready to generate projects in future tutorials. Here, you just want to select your workspace. I like to uncheck this so I can select my workspace every time it launches, but you can select it afterwards as well from within the application. I like leaving it as the default location, so click OK. Okay, so now that we have this open, a few things we want to do, you want to go to the Cocos Code ID, Preferences, click Cocos, and we want to basically set up the location for everything. Python, you can just leave it as it is because Python is already installed in Mac, which is cool. And you want to go into the SDK location, and for this, you want to navigate to your ADT bundle, click the SDK folder, click Open. For the NDK, 
you want to go to NDK folder, click open for the Apache and you want to go to the Apache and folder, go to the bin folder then click open and then for the JDK you want to click the drop down and go to applications or wherever your code, code ID application is. A lot of the time this may be selected by default if it is um, then that's a okay again this will be the path to your application which is here and the forward slash jdk forward slash bin so he has the jdk um, files within it so if you click apply and then the next two steps that we need is to set up javascript and lua again if you only want javascript then you just need to follow the javascript part if you only want lua just follow the lua part so it's really easy for javascript click the drop down click custom navigate to your cocos 2 d JavaScript folder, select your cocos 2 d JS directory with all these files in there, click open. Now for Lua it's the same thing, so just click custom, go to cocos 2 dx where all these files and folders are in there, click open, click apply. Okay, I'm just going to confirm that they have saved, so if I open it, that's saved and that has saved. So that's all you need to do to set up. If you use Cocos 2DX or JS before and you've set it up in the command prompt or terminal, depending on what OS you want, I think you'll automatically notice how much easier and nicer and cleaner setting up Cocos Code IDE is. So we now have it all set up on Mac with JavaScript and Lua. The next tutorial will cover setting up the Cocos Code IDE on Windows. If you don't, if you aren't interested in that, just skip that video and go to the future tutorials. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystem.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for everything we talked about will be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.